Hi everyone and welcome to your yoga class today. My name is Chloe and I'm very excited and feeling very blessed to have this opportunity to be of service in this way. Um, it is my absolute greatest excitement and biggest passion to share the gift of yoga with you. So thank you so much for tuning in and for taking this incredible step to self-transformation, healing and upliftment. So the yoga sequence I will be sharing with you today is for the pelvic area. So with this month we're very much working on that grounding energy. And this is an incredible kundalini yoga sequence that we use to open the pelvis, balance the pelvis. And this is our grounding energy. So it's the energy moving down the body, into the legs, into the earth. And if we have any blockages in this area, it's almost as though our energy gets stuck in this area. And because we spend so much of our time sitting, driving our cars, sitting behind our computers, we're constantly kind of in this position and experiencing a bit of a blockage in this area. So this is gonna really help us open up the space, get everything flowing, moving, so that we can continue to be these incredible energetic beings that we are functioning at our absolute optimum potential. Wonderful, so find your space. If you don't have a yoga mat, use a towel, a blanket, or just whatever you feel comfortable on. And this is a very, um, quite a short sequence you can do. So it can be done in the morning or the evenings or in the middle of your day. And you can really just make it your own. Make the um, each posture as long or as short as you feel. And just feel open to moving, moving and expressing yourself however you feel excited. All right, so the sequence starts coming onto the floor. So you can just seat in whatever way feels comfortable for you. You're going to place your hands behind your back. So your fingertips are pointing away from you and your feet are quite close to the body. So you can just get yourself in a position like this. And we're going to breathe in, coming up into a bridge pose. So if you lift the hips up, you might need to adjust your feet here and just find your spacing. Lifting your hips high to the sky. Breathing in here, and we're gonna breathe out to come down. Nice, so very easy. We're gonna do a few of these, so we're gonna breathe in to lift up. So this is also opening the heart center and exhaling down. Beautiful. A few more of these, breathing in and out. Love. And again, breathing in, lifting those hips up to the sky and exhale down. Beautiful. Let's just do a few more. As I said, when you're practicing alone, you can do just a few of these, or you could even do this, you know, up to three or five minutes, which is very powerful. We're also strengthening the knees, the thighs, the stomach muscles. So it's a really good all-around exercise. Breathing in and out. You three more. Breathing in and out. Lovely again. Breathing in. And out. Last one. We're going to breathe in and hold it at the top. So just holding here, bringing your awareness to your breath. Pushing the hips as high as you can. And gently exhaling down. Beautiful. Just taking a moment. You can bring your arms around your knees and just come into a nice tight squeeze. Taking a deep breath in. And breathing out. Another deep breath in and breathing out. Lovely. So then we're going to just deepen that slightly. And so the next posture is a wheel or a back bend, which I know is quite an advanced posture for people. So I'm going to offer two variations of the pose. So we're going to first start by coming down onto our backs. And you just place your feet on the floor. So your feet are about shoulder width apart and your, sh your shoulders are on the floor. If you can, grab hold of your ankles. If not, just resting your hands lightly on the floor behind your ankles. All right. We're then going to come up onto your shoulders, breathing in, lifting up your hips. So you can feel this is a nice hip alignment. And exhale down. 
And again, we're going to do just a few of these. Breathing in and out. And you can just go at the pace that works for you. It can be done fast. Like quite a powerful... Or it can be done slowly, just stretching, taking your time. So just find what works for you today. If you're feeling a little bit like you want to get your energy moving, you can really move it at a strong breath. Or you can just stretch and relax. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Beautiful. Keep going. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And again, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Beautiful. And again, you can do this as long or as short as you feel when you're practicing. Just until you feel this area has had a good workout. And then we can lift up onto the hips. So coming up as high as you can here, lifting the hips up, holding here. If you want to deepen this, you can bring your toes to the edge of your mat, bring your arms underneath your hips, push the toes out to the side, and just hold here, taking three breaths. Beautiful. Just breathing. And gently exhaling down. Beautiful. So that's the first variation. If you want to go into a full wheel, you generally need to maybe warm up a little bit more. But otherwise, you bring your feet as close as you can towards the bum. You bend the hands around. And then you're going to lift up your full body. So coming up into a back bend or a wheel. And just hold here. And you can lower back down. And just draw the knees into the chest. Taking a deep breath in and out. Lovely. And you can do one of those or a few of those. You can just see how you feel. Beautiful. We're going to then turn around onto our stomachs. So you just lie down and you're going to clasp your hands behind your back. So making a nice clasp, bringing your chin to the floor, bringing your feet together and you're going to breathe in to lift up. So lifting the arms as high as you can behind you and exhaling down. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And just find your rhythm. Find the pace that works for you. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Beautiful. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Doing as many or as few as you feel on any given day. So this is really good for strengthening the lower back, the spine, the legs, the hips. Opening the heart center. Lovely. And let's lift to hold. Holding here, taking three breaths. And gently exhaling down. You can just bring your cheek down to the floor, taking two breaths. <sighs> just relaxing. <sighs> Beautiful. Nice. Then you can bring yourself back up and you're going to come standing. So you can bring yourself standing in whatever way it works for you. Bringing your feet nice and wide apart and you want to have both hips facing forward, both of your toes facing forward. And just smile, take a deep breath in and out. Beautiful. We're going to then clasp our hands around. It doesn't really matter which one is in front of the other, but you're just making a clasp like this. And you're lifting the arms up. So you're going to breathe in at the center. And we're going to exhale down to the right. So we're breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Nice deep breath. In and out. Beautiful. Again, just at your comfortable rhythm. 
Beautiful breaths. In. really trying to open up the heart as you come up. Deep breaths in and out. Lovely. So getting that energy flowing down into the legs, down from the hips. Stunning. So on any given day, once again, doing as few or as many of these as you feel. Lovely, and then you can just hang down, bring your hands down to the feet. If you want to bend your knees a bit here, you can. And you're just going to hang down, taking two breaths. <sighs> Lovely, and gently just rolling up the body, taking a deep, beautiful breath of life. And exhaling in gratitude down to your heart. Lovely. We can then bring ourselves down onto the floor. And we're going to come into, it's called Kundalini Lotus. So it's a bit of an advanced posture, but you can just um, adjust and make it work for you. So I'm going to first show you the full extension of the posture. You bring your feet up and you grab hold of your big toes. And then we're going to breathe in to bring our legs out to the side. So you engaged in your stomach and you're holding the legs here. If you feel a bit insecure holding like that, you can also take your full hand and grab around the foot and hold like that. So just see what works for you. If that feels a little bit intense, you can then also bend your knees as much as you need to. You can just hold here in more of a whoop, in more of a bent leg posture. So just hold and feel, just breathing. This is really about balancing the hips, activating your core, bringing your awareness to your breath, breathing in and out. And then just ground yourself in your breath, into the moment. And if your legs are here, maybe just try stretching them out a little bit more. And exhale down. You can just bring your feet together into a butterfly pose. Taking a deep breath in, sitting up. And just exhale down towards your feet. Just to stretch a little bit deep into the hips. If you want to do a few little bounces here, you can. Just breathing in and out. Lovely. Okay, so we're almost there. We're going to then swing the knees around. So we've done this one before, our cat and cow position. So you come onto all fours. You want to have your fingers spread out as wide as you can, placing them nice and flat and stable on the floor. Ensuring that your wrist is directly below your shoulder so we have a nice alignment. You don't want to be too far over or too far back and your elbows are straight. And then the same thing for your knees. They're directly below the hips. And maybe you just want to move a little bit and just release a little bit into the hips and the lower back and the shoulders. Just shake it off. Nice. And then you can come to centre. We're going to, so it's a little bit of a um, cat and cow with a twist. So we're going to start by lifting the right leg up. So you're lifting the head and chest, breathing in and exhaling to contract. So you breathe in and out, breathing in and out. And you can just move at a comfortable rhythm. Be sure not to drop the chest down, keep it up, keep the elbow straight. If you have a little bit of sore knees, you can put a cushion under the knees. Or if you have sore wrists, you can put a blanket under the wrists. Breathing in and out. Nice, strong breath. And just do 
doing as many of these as you feel. Lovely. You can breathe in to lift up, deep breath in, and exhale down. Taking a nice deep breath, and exhale. Okay, let's do the other side. So we're going to lift the left, nice deep breath, and exhale. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And you don't have to worry about it looking pretty or nice. You don't have to point your toes or breathing in and out. This is exceptionally good for our hips, for the circulation in our legs, our lower back. You can lift up to hold, deep breath in, and exhale. And you can just gently push back into a child's pose, either with your knees together, or you can bring your knees apart to the edge of your mat, bringing your big toes together, just pressing the bum down, stretching those fingertips forward, resting the forehead down to the floor. <sighs> bringing your awareness to your breath, and taking steady, beautiful breaths. In and out. So if you want to then just move a little bit from side to side, if you are feeling a little bit stiff in the hips and lower back. If you've got sensitive knees here, you can place a towel or a blanket to support the knees. Beautiful. One last stretch forward. Deep breath in. And out. Lovely. And you can come up. And from here you can continue your practice. Maybe put on another class or another set. And just see how much time you have in the day. We can just close by taking a deep, beautiful breath. Breathing in our highest, purest intentions. And exhaling in gratitude down to our hearts. Acknowledging and unifying the gift of our body, mind, and spirit. Mm. Namaste. Mm. Thank you so much for joining. And it's been an absolute pleasure to share with you. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and I just wish you a beautiful, abundant, blissful day.